As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's video. Today, I had a customer and he'd always let his car sit and I was like, hey, why don't you get a trickle charger? He got a trickle charger, he got a little solar powered one. He's like, hey, why is it not working? So today I'll just run through your kind of trickle chargers and how to make sure your trickle chargers are working, what a working one looks like, and kind of how they work. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so here we are. This car's running right now, it's just charging up from being dead. And his little trickle charger is this guy right here. The brand is this, it's on Amazon. I guess I won't be recommended this one because this one doesn't work. And he would say, hey man, I got it plugged in and you could plug it into the cigarette lighter or you could plug it into, you can use these little alligator clips and connect it directly to the car. It's right here. You would just connect it to the positive and the negative. And in theory, it should work. And it, the light would turn green. So he's like, hey, why is it not working? So what I did, is I took a little voltmeter, go ahead and set it to 12 volts, and I'll grab these little leads. Now we can see the light is orange, okay? And we're gonna check our little alligator clips. They're right here. So in theory, this thing should be, you're gonna want like over 12.6 volts, maybe like 13, 14, 15 volts, because voltage is kinda like water pressure, if you could imagine. Um, this battery is dead and it was at 11 volts. A fully charged battery is 12.6 volts. If you could imagine this is 11 pounds of pressure, it's not, but we're just pretending it's going to be that, then we're going to need, say, 13 pounds of pressure to push electricity back to this side. So right now it's sitting in the sunlight. Let's see if I put, here, put this here so we can see it. If I put this meter on it, we got, boom, can I see my hand? I think so. All right, boom and boom. And right now we can see we got 1.6 volts, which is not nearly enough to charge the car. So when I was reading the little manual, it said, hey, the open circuit voltage should be like 21, let's see, 23.1 volts. And this one, when we checked it earlier, it was three to four volts. I don't know. It looks like it's got more shade on it now, um, but now it's 23. 23.1 volts is what we should be at and again it's just not not doing the job so this one's either defective or it's just not very strong or maybe it needs stronger sunlight um i'll put a link below in the video description for just like a plug-in tri trickle charger and i'll put a solar one in too and basically the plug-in you just plug it directly into an outlet inside of your house and then to make sure it's actually working just take your little test lead just make sure you're getting at least probably 13 volts it, it has to be over whatever the dad Ugh, dead battery is in order to actually be charged on the car and then you can let your car sit for months at a time and just leave it plugged in um, there's something called a parasitic draw and on most cars it's 50 milliamps or lower that's like the test range on newer cars it could be up to like probably like 100 milliamps and even with that trickle charger sitting there over time that's going to make sure it fills that and just keeps it topped off so that's pretty much all you need to know about trickle chargers um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, and real quick, I just thought about this. I didn't complete the electrical illustration. Uh, it kind of helps you understand how the vehicle charges, that sort of thing. That, what was it? That charger we just looked at said 1.8 watts. And what does that mean? So I told you about the voltage. It's kind of like water pressure in the water illustration. Then amps is going to be the actual water the actual electricity in the illustration and then resistance that's the other variable it's going to be kind of like the size of your hose for this illustration that doesn't really matter but basically the amps is the water so and then what does watts mean then because watts isn't amps so to get the amps i believe it's going to be so 12 volts you're going to do 12 volts divided by the amps divided by what to get the amps okay so I did math I didn't google it I'm using my knowledge so correct me if I'm wrong I'm about 95% sure this is right so to get the amps watts is going to be volts times amps so you would take 1.8 watts divided by 12 volts and you're going to get 0.15 amps so and then you can get like amp hours so if the sun's out 
and you get four hours, that's going to be like 0.6 amps. And remember, 50 milliamps, oh, here we go, um, is going to be 0.15 amps would be 150 milliamps. Yes, 0.15 would be 150 milliamps. So if your car is a newer car and it's using 100 milliamps an hour, and that thing's doing 150 milliamps for four hours a day, then you're gonna be losing. You're gonna be in a negative. If you get like a straight one that plugs into an outlet and it's say it's doing, I don't know, 500 milliamps, then you're gonna be more than enough. Um, you can check that on the box, just see how many watts it says. Um, we know 1.8 watts is not enough. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm not going to recommend that solar trickle charger, but I'm sure there's probably solar trickle chargers out there that are the right amount and stuff, but that one didn't work. And then, you know, if, you, if you're only using like 30 milliamps, then yeah, for four hours a day, 600 milliamps, 30 times 10, it's going to be 300 times two. So it's like 600 and 720. Uh, I think I did that right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but 720 milliamps. Um, you'd use 720 and that's produ producing 600 in that little theory. If you live in Arizona, and we live in North Carolina, I have solar panels in my house, that's why I'm thinking those, the, you have like a four max hours in the day. Um, but if you live in like Arizona or something, hey, you might be getting more out of it. But anyways, that's kind of my little conclusion for today. Uh, trickle chargers are great. I have one. I picked one up at Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks. And I have I have four cars, I have two trucks, and then I got my BMW, my minivan, and the trickle charger works great. It, I use it for the lawnmower, so just sit it on the lawnmower, or I take the battery out of the lawnmower, and I don't want the battery to just sit there, I want it to be fully charged um, when we start the new season, so I'll just take the lawnmower battery out, stick it in the basement, throw the trickle charger on it, and then <clears throat> just probably, probably throw it on. I have a truck that just sits like the farm truck. Um, we just put wood in it, and I drive it to the wood area, fill it up with wood, and then park it near a basement, and or do the wood stove or whatever. Probably yeah, hook one up. But anyways, you get the idea. Trickle chargers for cars to sit, and now you know how to make sure yours is working. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.